Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a perfume review. And today I'm going to be... Ooh. You know, let's start off this filming strong and almost drop the perfume on the floor. That seems like a great idea. So today I'm going to be talking about Atelier Cologne's Vanille Insensé. Hopefully I pronounced that right. All of these perfumes have French names and I'm not French. This is a Cologne Absolu, which it even puts in little brackets on here. That that means it is a pure perfume. And I got mine in the one fluid ounce size just because I wasn't sure if I really like loved this fragrance when I first smelled it in Sephora. And this is the refillable travel spray. I didn't know it was refillable. Oh. I can see how it is refillable. The top screws off. And before we get into me reviewing it, I'm just going to read a couple of the things that are written all over this package. On one side, it tells you the three notes that they want you to know are in the perfume, even though there are others within it. Vanilla from Madagascar, lime from Mexico, and oak moss from Slovenia. And then there's a quote on the side. It says, He wove through the crowd when suddenly his heart quickened. That scent, it was hers. He had worn it first until she stole it for herself. Now, there she was before him, and the magic of years past came flooding back in a moment. Vanille Insensé, Cologne of Character. I didn't read that before. I didn't know that was written on here. That's like really beautiful. I guess that is Atelier's way of saying that this is a unisex fragrance and that it should just flood you with memories of the past. Also, my apologies if I sound congested. I have had some sort of a head cold. I've, I've never even had a head cold in my life before, but I'm pretty sure this is what a head cold is because it's all right here and it's in my nose and I sound congested, so my apologies, can't fix it. So inside of this little box is the small size of the perfume. The larger ones have like leather on them and they're much cooler looking. More dropping things. What else is new? Obviously the name of this fragrance is Vanille Insensé, which some people assume that Insensé is like incense, which it is not. Insensé means senseless or like insane and I don't really know how insane of a vanilla this fragrance is. It is interesting, but I wouldn't say insane. The top notes in Vanille Insensé are coriander, lime, and citron. The middle notes are vetiver, jasmine, and oak moss. And the base is composed of vanilla, oak, and amber. Like I said, this is one of the most interesting vanillas that I have ever smelled. When I first spray it in the first 15 minutes or so of wear, as you can see the spray is kind of weak. It might be stronger in the larger size, but it's a very soft, kind of weak spray. But the first 15 minutes of wear, you get a very citrus based vanilla, which I never thought that I would be a fan of, but I do enjoy it quite a bit. I almost wish that those citrusy notes from the lime and citron stayed throughout the duration of wearing this fragrance. It dries down into a very raw and woody vanilla, warmed up with amber, but still feeling quite light. The jasmine in the fragrance keeps it just a little bit floral, but that oak moss and the vetiver definitely make this fragrance feel quite earthy. This is the least gooey and candy-like vanilla that I have ever owned, and I really appreciate it for being different from the slew of other vanillas that are out there. And this vanilla actually feels kind of herbal in a sense. This is actually the perfume that I took with me to Jamaica. If you guys have not seen my Jamaica vlogs, I highly recommend you go check them out. There's two of them. They're on my channel. I'll have them linked down below or just search for my Jamaica vlogs on my channel and go watch them. They're quite fun. But I did bring this with me partially because it was so small and lightweight and easy to just throw in my bag, but also because for a vanilla, this feels so citrusy and fresh that I thought it would be perfect for a tropical beach summer vacation. I am deeply saddened by the bad longevity on this fragrance though. As much as I adore its unique scent, it maybe only lasts on me for three hours tops, leaving almost no trace of me ever having put on a perfume by hour four. And I would spray so much of it on me just because I knew how light and barely there the fragrance was and I really wanted to feel it on me because I love the smell so much, but it's so weak. I would spray like two or three on each wrist. I would do like four or five sprays on my neck, a little bit on my clothes. And even with all of that dowsing myself, 
it still only lasted like three hours. I mean, as you guys can see, that's quite a bit of use and I really only wore it for about five or six days. And I mean, that's a lot for five or six days. I never go through perfumes like this, honestly. I can spend a month on a perfume and it won't look anywhere near this used. That just shows how much I would have to spray on myself to even smell it and enjoy it. I personally love when a scent fills a room so everyone knows that you smell delicious and not having to drown myself in a scent for people to maybe be like, oh, she smells kind of nice. It's probably just my skin chemistry not really meshing well with this fragrance which is so upsetting because I can't change that. But in general, I would say that this fragrance is more suited for spring and summer and maybe creeping into fall because of that citrusy crispness to it. I'm actually looking at my receipt right now because I didn't remember how much it was. I just remember being kind of shocked at how expensive. That little bottle cost me $85. And since I'm so not in love with it, and I'm pretty sure it hasn't been 30 days since I purchased it yet. Has it been 30 days? No. I think I'm going to return it to Sephora, sadly, even though I now associate Jamaica with it and memories with it, and I did really enjoy it. I mean, it just, it doesn't live up to my expectations, so I think that I would rather return it and get a perfume that I love more and also review another perfume for you guys. I think that is just about all that I have to say today about this Atelier Cologne Vanille Insense. In the comment section down below, let me know what one of your favorite summer memories were this year. And like I already mentioned, I love Jamaica. I've got two vlogs on it. Go check those out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. And I would love to keep up with you guys across all of my social media platforms. I always have links to them all in the description box down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.